Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and today we are looking at some new glitches, secrets, and Easter eggs that have been sent in by you, the subscribers, that you also didn't know about in Forza Horizon 4. For a chance to be featured in a future episode, make sure to subscribe to this channel and comment on a bug, easter egg, glitch or secret that you have encountered in Forza Horizon 4, either down in the comment section below or by messaging them to me through Instagram, Twitter or even Xbox. All of the links will be down in the description below and I do read all of your comments guys. But without further ado, let's take a look at, at 7 new hidden secrets, easter eggs and glitches that are in Forza Horizon 4. Number 1. Snowing AI Cars Now for those who are constantly connected to Horizon Life, or in other words, playing online, may perhaps not notice this particular bug as much as those who just simply like to play Horizon Solo. One reason is that if you hop into an online free roam, there is a lot less AI cars roaming around getting in your way when you're trying to drive around the map fast or do some top speed runs. But in solo mode, for whatever reason, the AI cars increase by a huge margin and one thing you will notice with many of these AI and traffic cars is that either their wheels have gone completely white or their entire car look like they have just returned from Blizzard Mountain. I'm not exactly sure when this little bug began as I'm certain it wasn't there at the beginning of launch. But it seems as though this bug will be here for the long haul. I know it's just a visual bug, but to me, it just looks a little odd seeing so many washing powdered cars on the road when there is clear sunlight. Number 2. Indicators on AI cars Speaking of AI cars, this time we are solely focusing on the NPC or non-playable cars. This can be done in both Horizon Life or Horizon Solo. Now there is one particular feature in AI cars that the cars we actually drive in game don't have and that is the ability to use indicators. But here is the interesting thing about the signals of the AI cars. When you go into photo mode while an AI car is indicating, when you pan the camera in any direction, everything stays still except for the blinkers. They will continue to flash as long as you keep moving the camera in photo mode. Of course, once you stop moving the camera, the indicators will freeze. But to me, this was quite a good find as I don't normally like taking photos of traffic cars due to their lower polygon count. A huge shout out to RTC Glaz from Instagram for sharing this with us. Thank you. Number three, more floating trees. Okay, so not too long ago, we got to see a hidden floating tree during the winter season right here. And to be honest, this is one of those bugs that you either really have to look for or you accidentally stumble across it. There's no middle ground, but according to you, the subscribers, there's actually a lot more of these floating trees or objects laying across the map. And in this video, we'll be showcasing another batch which is situated right here. Now this may take a while to find as there are so many small trees in this little area but if you drive around long enough you will eventually discover them right here. It seems as though Playground Games forgot the slight gradient on some of these trees sloping down. I don't believe map patches will occur as truthfully it's very minute but it's always fun to discover these tiny bugs across the map. A huge shout out to Daniel JL98 from Twitter for sharing this with us. Thank you. Number four, barn find goes invisible. Here's an interesting glitch when it comes to the barn finds. Now, as we know, across the Forza Horizon 4 map, there are many barn finds scattered around. Their structure is very distinctive and all look the same, meaning as soon as you come across one, you know 100% that it is a barn find. Now, in an older video, we also did discover some other barn finds across the map, which are currently empty. But either way, those barn finds still look the same too. However, if you roam around the map in route creator mode and drive to a location where there is supposed to be a barn find, you will notice something very interesting. The barn find structure itself, it's just simply not there. In fact, you can even drive on it despite the lack of ground. The only part remaining of that barn find is the opening door. Other than that, it looks literally empty. 
And I know that some of you may be thinking, oh, you can try this on those unused barn finds to see what cars are actually inside. Well, unfortunately, that's not how games work. Under no circumstances will Playground Games place a car inside a barn find while free roam when it will just give us a cutscene instead. That's just how games work, guys. And a huge shout out to Aiden Benny from Twitter for sharing this with us. Thank you. Number five, there's a special oil leak. I'm not sure if this is a small little inside joke between Playground Games, but here is an absolute gold of a secret, and I believe it's the only car that I have seen that have this. So the car we are talking about is the 1981 Volkswagen Scirocco. Now, as we drive it around in free roam, there's nothing really to point out, but it's when you go into the Horizon Festival, into Forza Vista mode, is where it becomes quite funny. So when you look carefully, especially in photo mode, you can see underneath the car that there is a patch of what looks to be like oil underneath the car, suggesting something is leaking quite badly. Now, is this an inside joke between the developers as maybe one of them owns this car? Make sure to ask the team over at Playground Games on Mixer on their next live stream and hopefully we will get an answer. A huge shout out to Bear Huggies Car Mr254 from Instagram for showing this to us. Thank you. Number six, the prologue could have been very different. So remember the prologue in Forza Horizon 4 when you first launch the game and you get to drive through all the different seasons which starts with the McLaren Senna during autumn, then we move over to a special winters event which would then be followed by a rally car versus motocross race in a Ford Fiesta during spring and then finish off into the Horizon Festival in summer returning back into the McLaren Senna. Now, in the past, there has been concept arts which were leaked about this entire prologue which featured different cars. The most noticeable one was the Rally Cross event which was originally supposed to be the Subaru WRX STI rally car. It was even seen in a small part of their trailer. Now, for those who didn't watch Playground Games' most recent live stream about Update 20, there's one new car that we will be able to obtain, which is the Napier Railton. This is an open top car powered by an aeroplane engine. Now, you might be asking, why am I even mentioning this? Well, Playground Games confirmed during the live stream that in the prologue for the summer event, the Napier Railton was supposed to be the final car for the summer event reaching the Horizon Festival. Man, I find this so interesting because one, that means this car has been in their library from the very beginning. I wonder how many cars have been left until the rest of the lifespan for Forza Horizon 4. And two, I wonder how the event would have been with such an old but yet powerful car. Would we have even made it to the end? They're very interesting to hear. And number seven, a car that can't be removed. So in Forza Horizon 4, we have two ways to get rid of a vehicle. One is either by selling them through the auction house, which could possibly take ages, especially if it's a car that is common or barely driven by the community, or two, by simply removing them from your garage. Now, the removal of the car from your garage is simple. Just simply choose a car that you are not currently in and remove the vehicle. But for whatever reason, there is one car that doesn't have that option, and that is the 1983 Audi Sport Quattro. When you click on the car, the remove from garage option is simply missing. Is this a bug, or does Playground Games want to force all of us to have this car? We will never truly know unless the option comes back in a future update. A huge shout out to Nicholas underscore Sarbeck from Instagram for sharing this with us. Hopefully, Playground Games does fix this. So, there we have it, guys. Seven new Easter eggs, glitches, and hidden secrets in Forza Horizon 4 that you, the subscribers, have sent in and also many of the subscribers don't know about. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button. That would really help me out. Remember, if you guys do have a glitch, Easter egg, or hidden secrets that you know about in Forza Horizon 4 that has not yet been featured on this channel, 
make sure to write it down either in the comment section below or direct messaging them to me through Instagram, Twitter or Xbox. I do read them guys but unfortunately I will not get a chance to respond to many of them simply because there's just so many to go through and hopefully I do find some extremely unique ones that I can feature in my future episodes. Anyways, if you guys would like to see more Forza Horizon 4 content right here on this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.